Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, greetings, wherever time of day it is, wherever you are. And for those of you who haven't had your coffee yet, morning, afternoon, evening, greetings. <laughs> I've drank too much coffee. Welcome to the Geeky Heaven channel. I am Glenn, aka the Geeky Heaven. Here with October's unboxing for Pop in a Box. I have literally back to back filmed just now. I've just unboxed September's because that was extremely late. And here is October's. It arrived a day after September's. Pop in a Box, links, referral links, affiliate links, all that stuff in the description down below. Monthly pops delivered to your door. And good prices. Prices on screen now. Budding. Nine pound ninety nine for one pop, eighteen ninety nine for two. You can go for right up to twelve pops for ninety nine pound. A bit expensive, but you save some money if you're serious into pop collecting. And they have an awful lot of different sub boxes you can go for. The classic, the anime, the DC, the Marvel. Lots of different boxes you can choose. I go for the classic, and I thumbs up the ones I like, and thumbs down the ones that I'm not collecting. But that being said, let's crack this box open and see what I've got for October's Pop in a Box. It's a stiff one. Doesn't want to open. It doesn't want to open. Ooh. Can you see what it is? I see one of them is orange so i know it's going to be part of my dragon ball z collection i've been building up my dragon ball z collection and watching a lot of dragon ball z so let's get that one out first oh i like this one as well it is master roshi pop animation dragon ball z i can't read it backwards on one of there three eight two There's the artwork on the side. There is the characters in this line. I think I've got the whole line. I have Gohan Training. I have... Uh, no, I don't. I don't have Tien. I haven't got Tien yet. Tien and Jatsu. I really need to get them. They are the only ones I haven't got in this, in this line now. Oh, Tien. I love Tien. Jatsu as well. Ah, oh, I'm a bit disappointed now that I haven't got them yet, but I'm super excited that I have got Master Roshi. He looks great. There's only one way to have a better look though. Get him out of the box. Here he is out of the box, and I'm glad I got him out of the box because I can see the details on him, but also on his back, he is wearing the Turtle Shell backpack. That is so awesome. The details on it are quite good as well. He's even got his little straps from the bag going over his shoulders. I really, really like this pop. His, oh, his head doesn't turn very, there's not much movement in his head. Only a little bit because the turtle shell backpack goes up and gets caught at the back there. That is an awesome pop. I like the detail on these Dragon Ball pops. I'm glad to add that one to my collection. Master Roshi, he's very, very strange. I got into Dragon Ball through Dragon Ball Z. I... He's very, very wobbly. He does stand up. But he's leaning forward a lot. So, slightest knock. Do that again. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> and he falls over. Sit him there gently. Um, I only watched Dragon Ball from Dragon Ball Z. I'm only four seasons into it from the discs. I've got four discs, uh, or four discs, four, yeah. I bought four discs and I have, I bought four DVDs. There's about seven or eight discs in each one. I don't know why I keep saying discs. So I bought four DVDs and I'm on the fourth one. I never watched the early Dragon Ball where uh, Goku was a, a child in here, wasn't he? I didn't watch any of them so Watch Dragon Ball Z. Master Roshi is 
he's a dirty old man. He's very, very pervy. Um, I'm not sure how to take him or what to make him at the moment. I'm hoping as the series go on, the season go on, uh, his character kind of improves. Because uh, at the moment, I can see where the comedy is coming from from it, but it's kind of a OTT on that side of the comedy. But that's not the only pop I've got in this box. I've got a two pop subscription, so let's see what my second one is. Ooh, and it is from Fallout. Where? And it is Vault Dweller Female. Ooh. I've been getting a few of these Fallouts. Um, I can't remember which ones I thumbed up. I think I had the Vault Dweller Male in a previous box. Uh, yes. And so I thumbed up the female, so I want to get them all together. I love the look of these. They look so great. Fallout is an amazing game. There's the ones on the back. I like this. They're so good. The male and female both look good. I, I liked the female one a bit more because I like the sort of black across the head, almost like a Mad Maxi style. It looks, it looks almost like uh, like oil or grease that they spread across as, as a sort of makeup aesthetic look. Uh, I quite like it. But, like before, let's get this out and have a closer look. Here she is, out of the box. I really like this pop. In the box, I didn't realise just quite how much detail there was with like her scanner on her arm, her little ear poking through her hair. Just the hair, the hairstyle itself is brilliant. And I forget what this little thing is called in her hand. Is that a stem pack, stim pack, something along those lines? I can't remember. I played Fallout a while ago. It's a massive game. I never completed it. I never have time to play games. I like more of the classical games. I like your Crash Bandicoot time type games, Spyro games. Um, they're the type of games that I can you, can, you can play them and you can leave them and then go back to them at some point because I don't have time. I'm either working or I'm filming. I really, really like this. I'm really impressed with this. I'm glad that I kept this thumbs up and added this to my collection. Um, oh, even the clothing on, on the back, she got this behind there, she got the one, one, one. Absolutely amazing. The detail that's gone into some of these newer Funko Pops is unbelievable. But uh, she does come as well with a stand. So in the bottom, there is a little stand for her. I don't know if she stands without it or not. I shall have a little test. Oh, she does. She, st she stands without it. A lot of the female characters, uh, where they have like a, a smaller, narrower body, they don't stand up so well. But she stands up okay. So if you're an outbox collector, I suppose you'd be interested in that. I'm an inbox collector. I only take him out just to show you guys. So let me get these two guys back in the boxes and we'll have a little recap. There we are. October's two pop subscription for the classic pop in a box. Dragon Ball Z Animation Master Roshi and Vault Dweller Female from Fallout. I'm really happy again with my subscription. I love Pop in the Box. I love the fact that you thumb them up, thumb them down, and it's a mystery as to what pops they're going to send you, but they're going to be pops that you like. Master Roshi, like I say, really, really like him. Confused by his character, he's a bit OTT. And the Fallout, Vault Dweller Female, it's Fallout. What can I say? I love the artwork of Fallout, even though I haven't really played too much of the games. Um, I play each one, but I ne I've never completed a game, I never have time for it. I love the artwork, I love the aesthetics of it, the look of it, it's absolutely amazing it is. Brilliant games. What do you guys think? What's your favourite? What do you think of Fallout? And what do you think of Master Roshi? Uh, those of you who have seen Dragon Ball Z the whole way through, let me know, does his character improve or does he keep going the whole way it is OTT the whole way through? In fact, whilst you comment down below, all normal YouTube stuff, comment, like, share, subscribe. And let me know about Master Roshi. Uh, let me know about Fallout, those of you who completed the game. Is it one of these games that you can complete or does it just go on forever and ever and ever? Because it felt to me like it was going on forever and ever and ever. But that's not a bad thing. I was really enjoying playing it forever and ever and ever. I could never get the power armors to work properly for me though. I was much better playing as a character out of the power armor. It's in the power armor, you're just a big, slow, lumbering target for everything. Maybe I just, maybe I'm just a terrible gamer. 
played it badly. <laughs> Let me know all your Fallout thoughts and all your Dragon Ball thoughts in the comments down below. I'm going to end this here. I'm Geeky Heathen. As always, much love. And until next time, stay awesome. Oh, 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 o